Thanks for watching Guerrilla Physics. This is the last in the series of videos of how to improve educational videos. But I'll be back with loads more content linked to this. In this one, I'm going to share with you some tips and tricks from some of the pros, some of the people who have grown channels to even bigger than mine. And if you want to learn from the people that have been doing it before, I've tried to put everything I've learned from my six years on YouTube in my book, How to Teach on YouTube, How to Start and Grow Education YouTube Channels. So watch the end because I'm going to teach you how to define your unique selling point. Like the thing that's going to make you different here on YouTube to make sure your videos are the one that's chosen by loads of students. If you've got any questions at any point during this video, then leave them in the comments below. So here are three, and maybe there's more than three, like ways that you can improve your educational videos. <laughs> Here's just a bunch of tips of ways you can improve your educational videos. Production isn't everything, but it does matter. The more you watch and the more you make educational videos, the more you'll see ways that you can improve and that you should enjoy improving your own videos. Alam talks about what are you trying to achieve. If you're trying to make a really big YouTube channel, then you need to get serious about this. Mr. Bota talks about having a clear point, not rambling on. Script it and edit it afterwards, and that will help you do number one as well. Make it visual, make it appealing, and use the best sound quality you possibly can, and the sound is the most important thing for keeping people engaged on a video. And lastly, copyright infringement. You can't just put any image you find out there, and I spent ages actually looking for either public domain images, and if you're looking to make money out of things, you certainly need to worry about your copyright. Lewis talks about you need to make your own style. Students need to be able to get to know you as a teacher and you're only going to do that if you can find a way to relax and be yourself on camera. I think one thing that's really important is that you find yourself, you find your own style and you find your own character on camera. And that might be different to your character in the classroom. Find a way to be yourself and to relax on camera. I'm just imagining I'm talking to one person who is nodding along as I talk. And Sean, who is UK science guy, who is free science lessons, talks about sticking to the specification. In his videos, he is very clear, this is exactly what you need to know for the specification in GCSE Sciences. There's not a lot of point in me making the exact same videos as him because his videos are so good. So in my videos, I'm talking about how are you gonna get the grade nine and the A star. In my videos, I'm talking about how are you going to make sure you can answer all the questions to the highest possible levels in the GCSE or the A-level physics. You've got to find your own unique selling point if you want to be a success on YouTube. And your videos need a reason. They need a unique selling point. They need a USP because there are many different explanations now on YouTube of every part of every syllabus out there. What is going to make yours better? For me on Grid of Physics, I'm completely aware that my videos are most suitable to students who are at the higher levels. I don't do the very best ground up explanations. I presume a lot of knowledge because I want to get to the harder part. I would recommend my channel to those who aim for the grade nines or the A stars because that's what I'm best at as a teacher. Me individually as a teacher, that's what I'm best at doing. I'm best at explaining the hard bits. So find yourself and find your own unique selling point. Yeah, whether you should script or summarize is a really interesting idea because Mr. Bruff is right, okay, there is a really good purpose to actually having a script and sticking to it. But Sol Khan of the Khan Academy, which are a massively popular YouTube channel and website for online teaching, talks about a conversational tone. He talks about the best way to be teaching is to talk through people through as if you're having a conversation with them, as if you're explaining to one person. And they want that kind of natural kind of conversational. You need to decide which part of that you're gonna, are you gonna be heavily scripted and really careful about everything you're gonna say? Or are you going to try and have a kind of natural conversation and explanation and hope that you can kind of piece it together in editing afterwards? I guess it's where do you want to spend your time really? If you've got suggestions for videos that you'd like to see for how to improve your videos or make your own YouTube channel, then put them in the comments below. Thanks for watching Guerrilla Physics. Check out the playlist for more videos for educators and teachers on how to improve their videos. And do check out my book in the pinned comment and in the description is how to teach on YouTube. There's loads of details in there how you can improve your educational videos.